What is up guys? We're kind of late in the day, I'm gonna be honest, but today is the review day of the FZ07 that my friend Kevin has graciously enough lended me. This is the second time now, his Instagram, while it's in the bio, it's also right here on the screen. So go show him some love. We're gonna do a little bit of acceleration. Acceleration. Alright, let me get to talking about this bike. So, I also forgot to ask him what year it was again. But, they're all the same. FC07, right? This bike, the one word that comes to mind when I uh, ride it, is fun. This bike is just pure fun. The only thing that kind of like it's not good at is highway speeds like that. Like that was 60. That was a lot. It's uh, it's a naked bike, so there's not that much wind protection. So this thing has how many miles? It doesn't say how many miles. That's fun. Why didn't it say how many miles? Anyway, it doesn't matter the year. It doesn't matter the miles. All you gotta know is FZ07 is fun and torquey. So we're gonna do some audio clips of this exhaust so you can hear it outside my helmet because I know a lot of y'all want to hear that. Let me get off and uh, talk to you about this while we wait on my roommate to come back from the forest. It's a really light bike. It has a full tank of gas and it's very, very nimble. It's very light. We were hitting some curvies, which I forgot to turn the camera on and show on the way over here from where we took the cinematic shots. And on that road, Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this thing. <laughs> like, if I had the money, I would probably buy one of these things. Just because of how fun it is and how light it is, and you don't need much for it. You get lost, sweetie? My, my only complaint is all the wind. Uh, with the sport bike, I mean, yeah, there's wind, but there wasn't a lot. I don't know, maybe it's just because I had a jacket, but I don't ever remember it being that windy. Yes, right now we just shot the little sound clips. Should have recorded on my GoPro because <laughs> I did a little power wheelie, which I didn't know this bike could do. Well, I guess I did know, but it's shocking that I've I've never done that, so that's why it was shocking. Right now we're doing like long exposure shots with the taillight. Yeah, but this bike is uh, it's a party animal. That's what it is. Oh, the noob. How long is 25 seconds? Do we know that? Also, this is sketch AF. Did, did it not turn out good? No, it's just white. It's it's just, oh wait, white. go go back to your settings. Oh, we can do it a couple times. So this is how the picture's turned out. Now we're gonna talk about this. So this bike is really cool. It has a little switch like that. 
I always like that because my bike was old. Didn't have that. As I was saying on the way over here, this bike is a torque monster. Just like accelerating at wheelies. And for a two-cylinder, that's pretty wild in my mind. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're in the pier. If you if you're wondering where this place is, <laughs> that was a security. Uh, I bet they're looking for me. Too bad I'm leaving. Um, yeah, so the gears are kind of short. I mean, they're not they're not long, but they're also not like completely useless. Didn't, didn't wheelie that time. Trust me, this thing can get up and party. See, we're in sixth gear, 60 miles an hour, 442, 4300. In comparison, my 636 with stock gearing uh, weighs around 7,000 to 8,000 RPM at, I think it was like 80 or 90. You do the math on that. I've also been waiting to post this video because it's been so dang hot here. It's been like, it's September 20th. It is ridiculously hot for the end of September. It's high to mid 90. I didn't want to sit around in traffic and talk about this bike in that weather. So I had to wait for it to cool down a bit because <laughs> the video of me going around Clemson, I was dead afterwards. I was so sweaty. Look at all the cows. Why are we going so slow? Uh, I think there's another biker up there. Oh my God, he got me. See, why is it that bicyclists can like split lanes and whatnot, but motorcycles can't? That, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna gap him. Yeah, he just got taken to gapple bees, boy. Are they going left? Are y'all going left? I mean, I'll follow their rules. I'll go when they go. What the f What the f was that? You can't do that. <laughs> blow their eardrums out. That's how we get them. We just make them deaf in one ear. I can't go to the mountains and like fully ride this bike to its potential. A, still not comfortable to that level on a bike. B, the mountains are like an hour away. I'm like, that's not worth it for me. Like I'm sure if I had like a whole day, like do it with Dan did with his bikes from WOW and he goes to the mountains, like sure. But this is Kevin's bike and I want it out of his possession as little time as possible. Because I mean, if I were in his boots, I'd be worried about it. Like, I'm like, what if this happens? What if a car hits? Like, got it. Like, a lot of what, what ifs and ands. You know, I don't want to take it out of his life too long. It's also his, like his main mode. I mean, he has a truck, but he rides this a lot more. So turning on this thing is phenomenal. So easy, a caveman can do it. It's so light, like ridiculous. It feels like a 250. That's what it feels like to me. We got a choke chicken. That whole sentence isn't weird. Yeah, so in traffic like that, like, if you had to maneuver it quickly, very easy. Again, it's just like a 250 is what it feels like. How am I supposed to get people to look at me if this road's closed? Oh yeah, we have a game tomorrow. <laughs> Again, I'm filming pre-game day. Like I said in my previous video, the part two video, or part one, the, the tour of Clemson, just watch both. They'll be here in the little icon. This bike is really good around town because of just size, weight, torque, power, gearing. And I also don't know if this is stock gearing or not because I didn't really ask Kevin what mods he did on it. The clutch, again, clutch is super easy. Like if I go downhill, I can let it out all the way without gas. Like that's how easy this clutch is. I mean, if clutches aren't your thing, clutches. If operating a clutch isn't your thing, like this is your jam right now. I, I mean, I reference this as a beginner bike, but it's really not. But at the same time it is, it's kind of like a 650. Like sure, it's a beginner's bike, but it still has a lot. But I say it's a beginner's bike because it has the whole fuel bar instead of just, oh, you need, fuel you have a gallon left it has your average mpg which some bikes don't really tell you because that's not why you ride those bikes i mean it has an eco mode which means you're not really using the gas but it still shows up as eco i've never really heard about on a bike some leader bikes sure they have rain mode and uh a b c mode but that's just power that's not really eco mode the other thing that gets me on this bike is the sound it just sounds so good Oh, that was a chick. Hey now. 
I wonder what's going on there. There has to be some type of function or something tonight. Family weekend, that's what's going on. That's what was happening. It's family weekend, that's why there's a lot of people. So yeah, so just like traffic like this, bike's real light so you can uh, prop it up easily. And clutch is real easy and light so you can feather. I mean, this bike is just a good all around city bike. I, I don't know what else there is to tell you. And that little, uh, that noise. Another downside I just noticed is like, for me, I'm six foot tall. So I don't know how tall you are, but that's how tall I am. And whenever I stop and put my feet down and then I transfer back to them being on the pegs, my right foot goes over where the exhaust tip is. So like, I can feel the exhaust coming out when I put my feet up. So that's something to consider. I mean, it's not like hot, but you can just kind of feel the air moving. <laughs> Whoa. He was a scooter boy, said so see you later boy. Yeah, also this bike isn't one of those bikes where you sit on it and it heats up and you're in traffic and it gets hot. A lot of sport bikes do, like the R1, it has like a hot seat. This one isn't too hot right now. And like, I can hear the fans on, but uh, it's not too hot to sit on. Good blinker, buddy. You can, oh, there's the blinker. And he ran the red light. Shocking, right? Okay, bud. There's a cop right there. Good thing I did get a red light. Oh. It's a very peppy bike. If you have the chance to ride one, ride one. They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and <laughs> um, The only problem I have with shifting gears is finding neutral, but that could be a variety of things like not riding for three years, four years. I don't know, it could just be the bike. It could be, it could be a lot of things. The way he treats it, the way he rides it. I mean, not saying he doesn't treat it good, but like, you never know. Oh, that's a cool shot. Look at that. That's a cool little pick. Every time I ride this, it makes me want to get another bike. Now, what are you doing? Yeah, see that? I knew that lady was going to pull out, and guess what she did? She pulled out. Last time I said I was going to give uh, Kevin a full tank of gas, and before I could give him a full tank of gas on camera, my camera died. Trust me. Bro, bro, bro! What the f*** is that? What the f***? A school bus? You're kidding me. Some things are just so easy to predict. I forgot to get my keys. My keys are at home. That's the life right there. That Jeep. Golden, golden eagle. I was on my way to Kevin's place just now, and I pulled in, and I got to my car, and I realized my car keys are at my apartment. Because when I picked up my bike, I went back to my apartment to get my roommate and my cameras and all that. That was dumb of me. Like, what is this ratchet driving? That was weird. I figured out what happened. So, I went to upshift, didn't push the clutch in, let off the gas, and went down, and uh, shifted in a second. Now I have to go get my keys. Hey, see ya. Let's go return Kevin's bike now that I have my keys. market value where you are and whatnot i don't know what a good deal is i don't know what a bad deal is said i'm not the guy to say is this a good price because i don't know where you are i don't know the market where you are i don't know the market right now but yeah that's it's also not a wide bike to sit on like uh i think i sat on a cbr 1000 and it was a wide bike oh like a m109 okay if you sit on a m109 right it is a wide bike to sit on uh but this bike is very narrow I almost feel like it's too narrow. Yeah, I uh, never filmed an outro for this video. My bad. I thought I did. I didn't. 
yeah, I'm really bad at outros. Also, it's December now, and I filmed that in September, so I'm doing great. But end of story is ride an FZ07. They're really fun. One of the funnest bikes I've been on. Get your hands on one. Buy one. If you're thinking about this or something else, just, just buy this one. It's a lot of fun. There's a reason so many YouTubers, it's now like the YouTuber bike, or like a lot of like the Grom guys or the smaller bike guys, that's their big bike is FZ07. It's just a, it's a good bike. Um, I'm going to try to do more bike reviews like this. So if you liked it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. Let me know how to fix it to make it to where you like it. I'm trying to please everybody, which I know is impossible, but still. Stay tuned for whatever. Uh, probably over winter break, I'll blow over the car. I'll do a couple more bike reviews, so stay tuned.